the Northwest Territories is a territory of Canada. With a population of 41,462 in 2011 and an estimated population of 43,537 in 2013, the Northwest Territories is the most populous territory in northern Canada. Yellowknife became the territorial capital in 1967, following recommendations by the Carothers Commission. The Northwest Territories entered the Canadian Confederation July 15, 1870, but the current borders were formed April 1, 1999, when the territory was subdivided to create Nunavut to the east, via the Nunavut Act and the Nunavut Land Claims Agreement Act. While Nunavut is mostly Arctic tundra, the Northwest Territories has a slightly warmer climate and is mostly boreal forest, although portions of the territory lie north of the tree line, and its most northern regions form part of the Canadian Arctic archipelago. The Northwest Territories are bordered on the west by the Yukon, the other of Canada's three territories. Etymology, the name is descriptive, adopted by the British government during the colonial era to indicate where it lay in relation to Rupert's land. It is shortened from Northwestern Territory. In an Uktitshet, the Northwest Territories are referred to as Aaaa Shah, Beautiful Land. There was some discussion of changing the name of the Northwest Territories after the splitting off of Nunavut, possibly to a term from an Aboriginal language. One proposal was Den and D, as advocated by the former Premier Stephen Kakfwi, among others. One of the most popular proposals for a new name a Euro one to name the territory Bob a Euro began as a prank, but for a while it was at or near the top in the public opinion polls. In the end a poll conducted prior to division showed that strong support remained to keep the name Northwest Territories. This name arguably became more appropriate following division than it had been when the territories actually extended far into Canada's north-central and northeastern areas. Geography, located in northern Canada, the territory borders Canada's two other territories, Yukon to the west and Nunavut to the east, and four provinces, British Columbia to the southwest, and Alberta and Saskatchewan to the south and Manitoba to the extreme southeast. It has a land area of 1,183,085 km2. Geographical features include Great Bear Lake, the largest lake entirely within Canada, and Great Slave Lake the deepest body of water in North America at 6.14 a.m., as well as the Mackenzie River and the canyons of the Nahorni National Park Reserve, a national park and UNESCO World Heritage Site. Territorial islands in the Canadian Arctic Archipelago include Banks Island, Borden Island, Prince Patrick Island, and parts of Victoria Island and Melville Island. Its highest point is Mount Nirvana near the border with Yukon at an elevation of 2,773 a.m. Climate The Northwest Territories reaches for over 1,300,000 km2 so there is a large climate variant from south to north. The southern part of the territory has a subarctic climate while the islands and northern coast have a polar climate. Summers in the north are short and cool, with daytime highs in the mid-teens and lows in the single degrees. Winters are long and harsh, daytime highs in the mid of 20 AA degrees Celsius and lows around a 40 AA degrees Celsius. Extremes are common with summer highs in the south reaching 36 AA degrees Celsius and lows reaching into the negatives. In winter in the south it is not uncommon for the temperatures to reach a 40 AA degrees Celsius, but can also reach the low teens during the day. In the north, Temperatures can reach highs of 30 AA degrees Celsius, and lows can reach into the low negatives. In winter in the north it is not uncommon for the temperatures to reach a 50 AA degrees Celsius but can also reach the single digits during the day. Thunderstorms are not rare in the south. In the north they are very rare, but do occur. Tornadoes are extremely rare but have happened with the most notable one happening just outside of Yellowknife that destroyed a communications tower. The territory has a fairly dry climate due to the mountains in the west. About half of the territory is above the tree line. There are not many trees in most of the eastern areas of the territory, or the North Islands. History The present-day territory was created in July 1870, after the Hudson's Bay Company transferred Rupert's Land and Northwestern Territory to the British Crown, which subsequently transferred them to the Government of Canada. 
This immense region comprised all of non-Confederation Canada except British Columbia, the coast of the Great Lakes, the St. Lawrence River Valley and the southern third of Quebec, the Maritimes, Newfoundland, and the Labrador coast. It also excluded the Arctic islands except the southern half of Baffin Island. These remained under direct British claim until 1880. After the transfer, the territories were gradually whittled away. The province of Manitoba was created on July 15, 1870, a tiny square around Winnipeg, and then enlarged in 1881 to a rectangular region composing the modern provinces south. By the time British Columbia joined Confederation on July 20, 1871, it had already been granted the portion of Northwestern Territory south of 60 degrees north and west of 120 degrees west, an area that had comprised most of the Stikine territories. In 1882, Regina in the district of Assiniboia became the territorial capital. After Alberta and Saskatchewan became provinces in 1905, Regina became the provincial capital of Saskatchewan. In 1876, the district of Keewatin, at the center of the territory, was separated from it. In 1882 and again in 1896, the remaining portion was divided into the following districts, Alberta, Assiniboia, Athabasca, Franklin, Mackenzie, Saskatchewan, Ungava, Yukon. Kiwatin was returned to the Northwest Territories in 1905. In the meantime, the province of Ontario was enlarged northwestward in 1882. Quebec was also extended northwards in 1898, and the Yukon was made a separate territory in that same year to deal with the Klondike Gold Rush and also to remove the NWT's government from the burden of administering the sudden boom of population, economic activity, and the influx of non-Canadians. The provinces of Alberta and Saskatchewan were created in 1905, and Manitoba, Ontario, and Quebec acquired the last of their modern territories from the NWT in 1912. This left only the districts of Mackenzie, Franklin, and Kiwatin. In 1925, the boundaries of the NWT were extended all the way to the North Pole on the sector principle, vastly expanding its territory onto the northern ice cap. The reduced Northwest Territories was not represented in the Canadian House of Commons from 1907 until 1947, when the electoral district of Yuko and Eura Mackenzie River was created. This riding only included the district of Mackenzie. The rest of the Northwest Territories had no representation in the House of Commons until 1962, when the Northwest Territories Electoral District was created in recognition of the Inuit having been given the right to vote in 1953. In 1912, the Parliament of Canada made the official name of these territories the Northwest Territories, dropping all hyphenated forms of it. Between 1925 and 1999, the Northwest Territories covered a land area of 3,439,296 km2 a euro larger than that of India. On April 1, 1999, the eastern three-fifths of the Northwest Territories became a separate Canadian territory named New Nunavut. Demography The NWT is one of two jurisdictions in Canada a euro Nunavut being the other a euro, where Aboriginal peoples are in the majority constituting 50.3% of the population. According to the 2006 Canadian Census, the ten major ethnic groups were Population of the Northwest Territories since 1871 1. Yukon was ceded from the Northwest Territories in 1898 2. Alberta and Saskatchewan were created from parts of the Northwest Territories in 1905 3. Nunavut was separated from the Northwest Territories in 1999. Religion, the largest denominations by number of adherents according to the 2001 census were Roman Catholic with 16,940. The Anglican Church of Canada with 5,510. And the United Church of Canada with 2,230, while a total of 6,465 people stated no religion. Language. French was made an official language in 1877 by the territorial government. 
after a lengthy and bitter debate resulting from a speech from the throne in 1888 by Lieutenant Governor Joseph Royal the members of the day voted on more than one occasion to nullify and make English the only language used in the assembly. After some conflict with Ottawa and a decisive vote on January 19, 1892, the assembly members voted for an English-only territory. In the early 1980s, the federal government pressured the government of the Northwest Territories to reintroduce French as an official language. Some native members walked out of the assembly, protesting that they were not permitted to speak their own language. The Executive Council appointed a special committee to study the matter, which decided that if French was to be an official language, then the other languages in the territories must also be allowed. The Northwest Territories Official Languages Act recognizes the following eleven official languages, which are more than in any other political division in the Americas. NWT residents have a right to use any of the above languages in a territorial court and in debates and proceedings at the legislature. However, laws are legally binding only in their French and English versions, and the NWT government only publishes laws and other documents in the territory's other official languages when the legislature asks it to. Furthermore, access to services in any language is limited to institutions and circumstances where there is significant demand for that language or where it is reasonable to expect it given the nature of the services requested. In practical terms, English language services are universally available, and there is no guarantee that other languages, including French, will be used by any particular government service except for the courts. The 2006 census returns showed a population of 41,464. Of the 40,680 singular responses to the census question regarding each inhabitant's mother tongue, the most reported languages were the following, there were also 320 responses of both English and a non-official language. 15 of both French and a non-official language. 45 of both English and French, and about 400 people who either did not respond to the question, or reported multiple non-official languages, or else gave some other unenumeratable response. The Northwest Territory's official languages are shown in bold. Figures shown off for the number of single-language responses and the percentage of total single-language responses, communities. As of 2014 there are 33 official communities in the NWT. These range in size from Yellowknife with a population of 19,234 to Kakiza with 45 people. Governance of each community differs, some are run under various types of First Nations control, while others are designated as a city, town, village or hamlet, but most communities are municipal corporations. Yellowknife is the largest community and has the largest number of Aboriginal peoples, 4,105 people. However, Bihchoko, with a population of 1,926, is the largest First Nations community, 1,730, and Inuvik with 3,463 people is the largest Inuvialut community, 1,335. There is one Indian reserve in the NWT, Hay River Reserve, located on the south shore of the Hay River. Economy the NWT's geological resources include gold, diamonds, natural gas and petroleum. BP is the only oil company currently producing oil in the territory. NWT diamonds are promoted as an alternative to purchasing blood diamonds. Two of the biggest mineral resource companies in the world, BHP Billiton and Rio Tinto mine many of their diamonds from the NWT. In 2010. NWT accounted for 28.5% of Rio Tinto's total diamond production and 100% of BHP's. The Northwest Territories has the highest per capita GDP of all provinces or territories in Canada, 76,000 Canadian dollars in 2009. Major Territorial Mines El Dorado Mania Euro 1933 a Euro 1940, 1942 a Euro 1960 1976 a Euro 1982, Con Mania Euro 1938 a Euro 2003, Negus Mania Euro 1939 a Euro 1952, Ptarmigan and Tom Mania Euro 1941 a Euro 1942, 1986 a Euro 1997, Thompson Lundmark Mania Euro 1941 a Euro 1943, 1947 a Euro 1949, 
Giant Mania Euro 1948. A Euro 2004, Discovery Mania Euro 1950 A Euro 1969, Rare Rock Mania Euro 1957 A Euro 1959, Camlaren Mania Euro 1962 A Euro 1963, 1980 A Euro 1981. Kantung Mania Euro 1962 a Euro 1986, 2002 a Euro 2003, 2005 a Euro Current, Echo Bay Mines Limited a Euro 1964 a Euro 1975 Pine Point Mania Euro 1964 a Euro 1988, Tundra Mania Euro 1964 a Euro 1968, Terra Mania Euro 1969 a Euro 1985. Salmita Mania Euro 1983 a Euro 1987, Kalomak Mania Euro 1990 a Euro 1992, 1994 a Euro 1997, Ikati Diamond Mania Euro 1998 a Euro Current, Diavik Diamond Mania Euro 2003 a Euro Current, Snap Lake Diamond Mania Euro 2007 a Euro Current, Government. As a territory, the NWT has fewer rights than the provinces. During his term, Premier Kakfwi pushed to have the federal government accord more rights to the territory, including having a greater share of the returns from the territory's natural resources go to the territory. Devolution of powers to the territory was an issue in the 20th general election in 2003, and has been ever since the territory began electing members in 1881. The Commissioner of the NWT is the Chief Executive and is appointed by the Governor in Council of Canada on the recommendation of the Federal Minister of Aboriginal Affairs and Northern Development. The position used to be more administrative and governmental, but with the devolution of more powers to the elected assembly since 1967, the position has become symbolic. The Commissioner had full governmental powers until 1980 when the territories were given greater self-government. The Legislative Assembly then began electing a cabinet and government leader, later known as the Premier. Since 1985 the Commissioner no longer chairs meetings of the Executive Council, and the Federal Government has instructed Commissioners to behave like a Provincial Lieutenant Governor. Unlike Lieutenant Governors, the Commissioner of the Northwest Territories is not a formal representative of the Queen of Canada. Unlike Provincial Governments and the Government of Yukon, the government of the Northwest Territories does not have political parties, except for the period between 1898 and 1905. It is a consensus government called the Legislative Assembly. This group is composed of one member elected from each of the 19 constituencies. After each general election, the new Assembly elects the Premier and the Speaker by secret ballot. Seven MLAs are also chosen as Cabinet Ministers with the remainder forming the opposition. The current Legislative Assembly is the 17th and the most recent election was held October 3, 2011. The Premier is Bob McLeod. The Member of Parliament for the Northwest Territories is Dennis Bivington. The Commissioner of the Northwest Territories is George DeCaro and the Deputy Commissioner is Margaret Thum. In the Parliament of Canada, the NWT comprises a single Senate division and a single House of Commons electoral district, titled Northwest Territories. Departments The government of the NWT comprises the following departments Aboriginal Affairs and Intergovernmental Relations, Education, Culture and Employment, Environment and Natural Resources, Executive, Finance, Health and Social Services, Human Resources, Industry, Tourism and Investment. Justice, Lands, Legislative Assembly, Municipal and Community Affairs, Public Works and Services, Transportation, Culture. Aboriginal issues in the Northwest Territories include the fate of the Dean who, in the 1940s, were employed to carry radioactive uranium ore from the mines on Great Bear Lake. Of the 30 plus miners who worked at the Port Radium site, at least 14 have died due to various forms of cancer. A study was done in the community of D-Line, called A Village of Widows by Cindy Kenny Gilday, which indicated that the number of people involved were too small to be able to confirm or deny a link. There has been racial tension based on the history of violent conflict between the Dean and the Inuit, who have now taken recent steps towards reconciliation. Land claims in the NWT began with the Inuvia Lute Final Agreement, signed on June 5, 1984. It was the first land claim signed in the territory, 
and the second in Canada. It culminated with the creation of the Inuit homeland of Nunavut, the result of the Nunavut Land Claims Agreement, the largest land claim in Canadian history. Another land claims agreement with the Taya plus or minus ICHC people created a region within the NWT called Lee Cho, between Great Bear and Great Slave Lakes, which will give the Taya plus or minus ICHC their own legislative bodies, taxes, resource royalties, and other affairs, though the NWT will still maintain control over such areas as health and education. This area includes two of Canada's three diamond mines at Akati and Diavik. See also Canada, Outline of Canada, Index of Canada related articles, Bibliography of Canada, Canada at Wikipedia Books, List of airports in the Northwest Territories, List of National Parks of Canada, List of Northwest Territories Highways, List of Northwest Territories Legislative Assemblies, List of Northwest Territories Plebiscites, Scouting and Guiding in the Northwest Territories, Symbols of the Northwest Territories. References. Further reading. External links.